Hi, my name is Alexander. I'm a junior scientist at the Institute of Molecular Biology and Genetics located in Kiev, Ukraine. I'm a part of a joint group of computer scientists, biologists, and pathologists from IMPG in Ukraine, as well as Wilkham Sanger Institute and NHS Foundation Trust in the United Kingdom. Today I'd like to share the results of the project we've been working on, the topic of which is Pipeline for Automatic Segmentation of Epithelial Cells in Buccal Swab Slides with Custom Cell Pose Based Model. Collecting buccal swabs is one of the two most common non-invasive oral sampling methods used for medical research. Nowadays, buccal swabs are widely used to study somatic mutations. At the same time, buccal swabs microscopy image data can be used during the quality control step to assess possible contamination of different cell types important for epigenetic studies in general. Manual analysis of buccal swab slides can be laborious due to their big size, presence of cell clusters, artifacts, and debris, which motivated us to develop a tool capable of doing so automatically. Therefore, we present the Automated Buccal Swab Cells Recognition Tool, ABSER for short, an efficient and scalable Python library for cell segmentation and classification. The current version implements epithelial cell segmentation and counting, along with data preprocessing and handling, and a graphical user interface for manual removal or adjusting of the masks obtained after the segmentation step, which is necessary for custom model training, or removing unwanted artifacts from the original image. The heart of the ABSCR library is CellPose, generalist algorithm for cell and nucleus segmentation based on the UNET convolutional neural network architecture. A variety of pre-trained models, both for cell and nucleus segmentation, are available in CellPose library. Additionally, CellPose can be optimized to one's needs, i.e. a user can train their own custom model. In an effort to outperform the available pre-trained CellPose models, we decided to train our own custom model, capable of separating epithelial cells more efficiently. To do that, 30 buccal swab slides provided by the Sanger Institute were chosen for manual annotation. Each slide was divided into at least five regions, 6,000 by 6,000 pixels in size in QPath. Individual epithelial cells were manually annotated by certified pathologists. Annotated slides regions, as well as the annotations themselves, were then exported as 16-bit PNG images. The resulting data set ended up containing 165 pairs of raw slides regions and corresponding ground truth masks. In total, 2,300 masks were used for the following training step. The data set was randomly split into 90% training and 10% validation sets. Three different models were trained. CellPose-based CYTO and CYTO2, the two pre-trained models intended for cell segmentation, and a model trained from scratch. During the training of CYTO2 base model, the loss function stabilized after the fifth epoch and didn't change further. The trained model's performances, along with the original cell post pre trained models, CYTO and CYTO2, were evaluated on the validation set. Validation metrics were obtained as a result. The intersection of a union, also known as the Jacquard index, was chosen as the primary metric for segmentation accuracy evaluation. The model based on pre-trained CYTO2 model, trained for 50 epochs on our data, showed the best result and managed to outperform the pre-trained CellPose models CYTO and CYTO2. To sum up, we've developed ABSCR, an efficient and scalable Python library intended for cell segmentation. We've also generated a data set of annotated buccal swab slides, 
and trained an epithelial cell segmentation model based on the pre-trained cell post CYTO2 model intended for epithelial cell segmentation on buccal swab slides. We further plan to increase the size of our manually annotated buccal swabs microscopy images dataset to improve the results of cell segmentation and explore other DL-based algorithms. I'd like to thank the collaborators from organizations involved in the project. Thank you for your attention.